awake. Amazing. <laughs> I am Amy and I am coming to you from Jaja Warren country here in central Victoria, Australia. And it is a wild windy day today. It is so very stormy and windy and it is hilarious because last week I was talking about how it was so hot and humid and I wouldn't be wearing any winter clothes and here I am wearing wool and many layers of wool and a beanie outside and a cowl and everything. Woolen socks. <laughs> it's cold. It's so cold. Um, December can be a bit back and forth like this. We don't really get the huge you know, the hot, hot weather until January, February. You can go into March, you can go into April. Um, and that's what it's like down here in Victoria, Australia, down in the south. I'm just all tangled up with this knitting here. Um, anyhow, this is a making podcast called Making Thrifty. And I just talk about all the things I've been making. Mainly knitting, but there's a little bit of sewing this week, so that's exciting. I'll just pop this down and tell you what I'm wearing. I'm going to stand up and hopefully you can see I'm wearing a Hinterland dress by So Liberated and I've changed the skirt part. Um, I'll pop a picture in here because I'm not doing it justice by standing here like this. I have recently, um, is it better this way? Recently put some fig leaf, um, printed some fig leaves onto the panels in the front here. And the story behind the panels is because I, this was the first dress that I made with this pattern and I stuffed it up and made, it was two sizes too big and I didn't really like the gathered skirt. So I'm, I adjusted the pattern, made my own drafted skirt pattern, which one day I will go through with you and explain. Um, and then I um, made other dresses and eventually after I've made I made about three and had a um, had my pattern down pat I came back to this one unpicked it um, made the bodice smaller um, except for I mean you can't see it now but the sleeves uh, I didn't adjust the gathering part so they're a bit more poofy than in the pattern because they were big and then yeah I made this new dress um, skirt draft pattern that I'd come up with um, it has eight panels in it and the panels sort of shape like that so they're th um, thinner up here in width and then th um, wider down the bottom so it it creates what I didn't like about the boxed sort of pleated pattern on the hinterland dress was that it became a very, it's not A-line, but um, very up and down, straight. And I like my skirts to go out and give me a bit of room to move and also don't like the gathering and the bulking up around my waist. So yeah, so I had to add, add these little, um, I had to add these little thin um, la uh, strips of grey fabric because I didn't have enough of this beautiful checked um, fabric. Uh, it's made in an organic cotton fabric that I got from Cloud9 Fabrics. And... Um, I absolutely love it. It is my favorite dress. It is so comfortable and I just love, I love the checks. I really would like to, I have some red check fabric. I'd like to make myself a dress with that. Um, but time, I will find the time one day and do it. 
<laughs> and my woolen sweater that I'm wearing is the Jupiter crop by Caitlin Hunter and I you will see, have seen this one I've been maybe more in another episode um, it's another thing I forget to mention when I'm introducing myself is the episode number this is episode number six <laughs> okay I'm getting there guys I'm getting there okay so this Jupiter crop I absolutely love and it is just is so comfortable I was looking at it this morning when I put it on I really 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 would like I'd really like to cast on another with with the um, Caitlin Hunter had like a pinky color a soft pink going through as one of the colors and I'd really like to do one similar to what the colors she used these are these are very similar to what she used but I think the light gray was a was a pinky pinky color anyhow let's get on with I might I might um, start with works in progress today because it's sitting right here and I've been trying to work on it here and there it's so exciting to have time off now and to make for me myself and my family my daughter's 13th birthday is coming up on Saturday it's very exciting and I will show you what I've been making for her but first of all is what I am working on which is my Birkin sweater that I cast on last week and I am loving it so much it is so so pretty and I've got this cute little mushroom progress or stitch marker on it that I got from Lumi Knits from Haley. Thank you Haley in my advent that we swap we did an advent swap and I think it just looks fantastic with that green with the greens oh it's just so it's so pretty I really want to put it on um bigger needles once I've got through some more of the color work or well, the whole yoke take some pictures yeah really excited about this one so I am knitting this in Bendigo Woolen Mills yarn in the gray is the rust rustic misty colorway so it's the rustic yarn in the misty colorway four ply so fingering weight and then the colors that I'm using are in the luxury yarns the green is clover I believe and the pink I think it's something like pale pink something like that um, and I have the the blue here that I'll be using in it and the mustardy yellow color is nowhere to be seen <laughs> so that's what I'm working on I'm also working on one moment okay have a Russell Russell okay so I've just had to run into the other room and and get um the Sipala sweater that I've been working on for my friend and put that down there that's the back so I have started on the second sleeve and I'm still hoping to get it done by next Friday so hopefully fingers crossed I just had to get Charlotte's stuff done because her birthday is this weekend and then Tans will be next weekend so or next Friday so I've started on the second sleeve and I had to pick up 
Tam chose this beautiful, she chose the yarns and bought the yarns and there was a another, um, another skein, just taking off the price tag, <laughs> another skein, although, you know, it's useful to see that this was $36. Um, yes, yeah, so another skein because I was running out and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, did she get another one just in case because I've got this much left and I don't think that's enough. So, yay, there's another one. It is a Madeline Tosh, uh, Tosh Merino Light, so 100% Merino wool and it is the Bir Birken stick color. It's a fingering weight. And um, Tam got this from a shop in we have here in Castlemaine called Zigo Zago. And Pammy, who runs that store, is just a beautiful person and she has lovely yarn. I don't know whether she has much of the Madeline Tosh left. This was purchased. This colorway, she won't have any. Um, this was purchased a good two years ago. <laughs> so, yeah, it's lovely. There's just such lovely colors through that. Beautiful. So, I am working on this as well, which is very easy at the moment because there's no colour work, but when the colour work starts, I'm sure the sleeve will fly off the needles because I did with the, with the first sleeve. I really enjoyed it. And I'm hoping to present it to my friend on Friday. So next Friday. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I think there'll be some late nights. <laughs> okay, so that's my work in progress. Now for finished projects. I, so Charlotte is turning 13, but she has not outgrown getting cute little friends to join her other beautifully made toys. Okay, here they are. A little better back here because it's blowing out when I put it closer to the screen. So I knitted this one first. This pattern is the Rag Jack Rabbit pattern by Susan B. Anderson. She has so many beautiful toy patterns and I have so many of her Christmas patterns in my waiting list. I, um, yeah, I can't wait to cast on some of those just leading up to the maybe the first, the last week before Christmas and doing a few of those. But anyway, if I go here, that's not so blown out. I did this one first and I used the same needle throughout the whole pattern, but the pattern does ask for a change of needles. Um, but I thought, oh, I can't, <laughs> double point of needles, I just don't have all of the sizes. So I was just like, oh, I'll just do it like this. And it turned out really cute. But then I made this one with larger needles just for the head, which the pattern has more of a difference in needle size for other parts of the bodies. I don't want to say too much because it's a paid pattern. But yeah, I love the big head on this. I just love it. It's so cute. And I think I'm just so attracted to this yarn. I have very little of this color left and it is a Bendigo Woolen Mills 100% alpaca. And this gray blue is just everything. It is just so lovely. And I re it's got, you know, there's a blacks and whites and gray you know the grays it's just such a lovely yarn and the little noses so cute so I've made these two this one is also 100% alpaca yarn 
Bendigo Woolen Mills, can you please bring this colour back? Please. It's so lovely. I was going to bring my roses that I got today and put them here and I haven't done that. Never mind. Oh well. Okay, so I've knitted those two little guys and actually I made, I made a little scarf for this one. And it just tucks nicely around the neck. So I just did a I just cast on seven stitches on really thin needles with a fingering yarn and um, did a seed stitch or moss stitch all the way and just kept going and going and going in the late hours last night. I, I don't like staying up very late, but I'm thoroughly enjoying staying up late make, making these gifts for Charlotte. See, so <laughs> this, he's appropriately, appropriately, appropriately dressed for the day. So there they are, those two guys. And I made a little <laughs> blanket in the beautiful gray. It's so lovely. I only have a tiny bit left. I only ever purchased one ball of this why? Why did I only get one ball? <laughs> no! I need a whole jumper in this. <laughs> so I've got a little blanket for them and then I sewed this little, I thought it was going to be a blanket but it's more like a mattress. So, or a picnic rug. <laughs> Not that Charlotte plays with her toys in that way but she likes to set them up and and leave them there so yeah that's nice so if I only get one more year out of making cute little toys for her then I'm happy with what I've made this year <laughs> and that's that's it but I'm sure she she has um, appreciation for lovely made things no matter what they are and will cherish them for, for forever. I did some sewing as well and I made this little sort of travel um, pouch for some rollers, some mini rollers. So, so I've got the tie on the back there and inside are these little teeny tiny rollers. I haven't filled them yet but I'm gonna fill one with uh, peppermint and a base oil and another with lavender and um, I'm going to put a bit of a soothing uh, roller that I have into one of these. I've got the gidgets to take off the, this one doesn't want to undo, take off this part and I can fill them, fill them up. So I'm going to fill three of them and then I'll leave the other three and she can decide what she wants in those because I know she uses my peppermint one sometimes when she has a headache. So I know she'll want peppermint. Um, the lavender might be good for stress and then yeah the the soothing uh soothing one for headaches but it's also good for um just for, you know relaxing and and such so or oh, neck pain i use mine for neck pain and that yeah so i quilted the top and then used um, a lovely lining that I have and there's something about when you quilt something when you put um, the padding on the inside and oh, I was sewing this and I'm like oh I really really want to sew a quilt <laughs> I really want to sew I really want to sew a quilt Oh, it's just something about just 
sewing and I mean even hand sewing it just feels so something about quilts just have such a homey feeling to them such a good feeling so I'm sure I won't get around to I've got a few little cot size quilts on the go so I should probably finish those um Hmm. stuffed up that bow yes yeah, so I thought this is cute she can stuff it in her bag and take it with her or she can leave it in her room and everything's nice and safely kept in the padded little roll-up bag and it's all about she's you know being a teenager now well soon by on Saturday technically um it's all about calming and soothing stuff and treating her you know tr treat treating herself to downtime and being kind to herself and yeah so just wanting to nurture her nurture her with all that goodness and I also got some bath salts from my friend Christiana who runs Mimosa Botanicals and I took this jar in and she filled it up for me with a lavender and oat um, bath salts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Smells so good. I can see that there's chamomile flowers there too. Yeah, chamomile flowers as well. Oh wow. Oh, it is lovely. So French lavender and oat milk. It's beautiful. So I've got that for Charlotte. And then I got another fill of her slumber oil. Can, if I put it, yes, closer. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> So I got another roller of her slumber oil, which all my three kids sm like smothering on themselves before they go to bed. Um, and they're very happy that I've got this. So this is a, a particularly for um, Charlotte. It is, it is for all of them. And then I couldn't resist when we were in one of the local stores in Castle, Maine, I couldn't resist getting Charlotte these socks. So she loves cats. We all love cats. I mean, we love dogs too. We want to get a dog desperately, but cats are easier at the moment. And then I saw these and I needed to get them for myself. <laughs> so good. Yeah. So they're for me. So yay, those two socks. And that's it. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be wrapping up these presents for Charlotte and working on the sweater for Tam, my friend, and sneakily working on mine in between. And really relaxing, relaxing into the holidays. It's really cold and I don't feel like being outside. I've just seen the drippers in my garden and realised I forgot that I put them on. So I'll have to turn them off after I've finished recording here. Um, everything's growing really nicely out there and the flowers are getting a bit of a beating today with the wind. Um, well, they're holding up pretty well. The uh, false Queen Anne's lace and the chocolate Queen Anne's lace is really coming along just beautifully. I will put a picture of a, a posy I put together for a friend recently. Um, and I pulled out some beetroot and um, the potatoes are looking really nice. Everything's just coming into in just flourishing but this cold weather this snap of a cold 
whether it really will sort of set them back a bit, I think. And it also makes me want to just sit inside, or I've actually been cleaning my studio um, today and cleaning the house. You know you're on holidays when the dishes are done and the table's clean <laughs> and you're getting on top of all of your laundry and folded it and put it away and get time to knit. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm definitely enjoying all the things at the moment. Um, I put up a little Christmas decoration up here. Feeling very, very much in the Christmas spirit. My kids keep asking me to play Christmas music, which I love. So I've been enjoying lots and lots of songs. I've been enjoying listening to Celtic Christmas music. It's really relaxing and... I really enjoy that sort of music. I mean, I, I'm very eclectic with my um, music taste, but um, it's really my cup of tea at the moment. And on, I'm just thinking on Wednesday, I'll mention, on Wednesday, I started the giveaway on my Instagram account. So go below in the notes and um, there's a link to my Instagram account you can enter to win these prizes. I will show you. <laughs> I had to duck under my camera. That's funny. Okay, first prize is this needle book and this mending mushroom. The mending mushroom is by Woolikens, Woolikens Organics. I just call it Woolikens. A shop that's in Castlemaine and she sells they sell online and um, you can go into the store and I have an array of their mending mushrooms that are handmade and so I wanted to really I wanted to give one away it's got their little bullikins with this so that's prize one an amazing prize I think. <laughs> prize number two is three of my hankies. So this one's got little swallows on it and then this starry one and this butterfly flower one. Yeah, so that's the second prize. And then the third prize is one of my um, lavender sachets. That smell really nice. I've been, um, I've been hanging and drying all the lavender that I've been harvesting, so much of it. And it's the French lavender. It smells, it's the best smell, the French lavender. I just love it. And, um, the other day I was um, uh, taking down the dried stuff and I don't know what you call it, getting it, preparing it to go into these. And um, it, the whole house smelled amazing. It was so good. So this lavender sachet with some of my home grown and home dried peppermint tea. I'll just briefly open it because I don't really want to can you smell it? I can smell it from here. It is so good. So some of my peppermint tea. And so they are the three prizes. So head over to my Instagram and it's my, it's the post is my last reel. So it's a reel, a video of me showing all of the prizes. Um, and all you have to do is follow me, like, and tag a friend to enter. So Go and do that because these prizes are lovely if I do say so myself and with that I might say goodbye and I'm going to make the most of the rest of my Thursday afternoon by myself in the house my kids are at their karate I think it's the last day for the or maybe the second last week for the year 
Um, and I am going to make myself a cup of tea and sit down and do some knitting and start, well, I'm going to start my fire first, sit down and do some knitting and enjoy a chocolate chip cookie that my kids made a few nights ago. So I'm going to do that. And I hope you have a lovely week. I will hopefully have something else of some more things to show you in a week's time this particularly one sweater I am so determined to finish it I want it off my list I should also mention that I have 11 projects on the go and I really like to get some of them um, completed Namely, I've got this crochet soap saver sitting on the hook and I could easily just finish that and I need to because it's going to be a good gift for this summer, this, um, summer, this, this Christmas. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that's the only one that I'm, uh, uh, and um, my friend's sweater they're both the um, projects I think I can complete and then I'll be down to nine projects and um, that will be nice I think I feel like I might undo one or two of the shawls that are like only two rows long and yeah I might do that so <laughs> I might even be down to like seven projects and that'll make me feel better because it can get overwhelming having many projects on the go. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my, ne on my, in my next video. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? In, I'm rambling now. I need to go and have a cup of tea and my cookie and 